So you wish to pursue MSc in the field of food technology and you are looking for some of the top colleges available in India? Then this video is all you need to watch. In the part 1 of this video, we discuss some of the various important aspects while choosing a college which includes the exact number of seats available, the exact name of the degree or the program offered by the university or college, the location of the college, university etc. In this video, as per request by many of you, we shall do the same for some of the MSc colleges available throughout India. So let's get started. There are n number of colleges available throughout India where one can pursue MSc in food technology. The admission for these colleges is based on either the entrance examination conducted by the college or by giving the ICR exam. So let's have a look at them one by one. To begin with, the first one we have is the CFTRI, that is the Central Food Technological Research Institute located in Mysore, Karnataka. Now this college is one of the oldest colleges in India offering food technology. Food technology here started way back in 1964. This college is offering MSc in food technology and it has a total of 30 seats. The admission in this college is based on a merit come entrance exam system where 60% weightage is given to the entrance exam and 40% weightage is given to your UG marks. So the entrance exam conducted by CFTRI contains various subjects such as physics, chemistry, biology, dairy, agriculture, etc. So we request you to check the website for the exact syllabus and subtopics. This college is known for its excellent placement, uh, placement as well as research facilities. For any more detail that you might need for the CFTRI exam related, you can see this video by Sanjeev Kumar Sharma in the Food Tech Simplified channel where he has discussed almost anything you might need for the CFTRI exam. Also, we are enclosing the link in the description box for the same. Coming on to the second college, we have Pondicherry University. Pondicherry University is located in one of the union territories of India, that is Pondicherry. And this college offers two different courses in MSc. So, uh, the courses offered are MSc in Food Science and Technology, for which they offer total 22 seats and MSc Food Science and Nutrition, for which there are a total of 50 seats. The admission to this college is based on the entrance examination conducted by Pondicherry University, which is known as the All India Entrance Examination. Also, they have an advantage that they offer the top three rankers a scholarship of 10,000, 7,000 and 5,000 respectively every semester. Coming on next, we have Punjab Agriculture University located in Ludhiana, Punjab. This college offers MSc in Food Technology which is approved by ICR and offered by College of Agriculture. So, uh, for the admission in this college, basically one has to give the entrance exam conducted by PAU which is known as MET, that is the Master's Entrance Test. One can also take admission based on the ICR exam since they have seats which are specifically reserved to be filled by the ICR quota. This college has a total of 18 seats out of which 4 are specifically reserved to be filled by the ICR quota. So one can apply based on either of the, uh, either give the own entrance examination conducted by university or by ICR. Coming on next, we have Guru Nanak Dev University located in Amritsar. This university was conferred by UGC as a university with the potential of excellence in 2012. They offer MSc in Food Technology, the admission to which is based either on the entrance examination conducted by the college or by the interview or the counselling. The candidates are required to fill both the online registration forms as well as the application forms. There are a total number of 40 seats in this college. Next one we have is Gujarat Forensic Science University located in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. Now this is a very unique one since it is the only college in India offering this unique course of MSc in Food Technology with a specialization in Forensic Food Analysis. This course was specifically designed uh, basically, if we look at food safety, so it has become a global priority issue these days. Other than areas such as food adulteration, food contamination, areas such as the food, uh, food crime and damage to food product intellectual property rights have become very important these days. So certain FMCGs and agro-based industries have started looking especially for people specialized in this area. Hence, this unique, uh, this unique course has been created as to give the basic uh, knowledge of the food sciences 
and the jungle sciences along with the knowledge of forensic food analysis and certain other important areas of the food technology such as the nutraceutical advanced analytical methods etc one here will get to study number of subjects such as food toxicology uh, analytical uh, advanced analytical methods of food technology forensic sciences and laws forensic food analysis and then we have nutraceuticals and health uh, health diet and many other subject talking about the eligibility it includes a bachelor degree in any discipline of science with a uh, with a 10 plus 2 in science stream medicine pharmacy as well as chemical engineering students can apply for the same and hence competition can be somewhat more since there are only 25 seats so the admission is based on the entrance examination conducted by gujarat forensic science university or based on the ug marks of all your semesters so talking of the entrance exam it consists of the basic food science of the bachelors along with chemistry biology and general knowledge next we have is ndri karna that is national dairy research institute located in karnal in haryana as the name suggests the college offers seven different courses in dairy such as dairy microbiology dairy engineering etc other than the dairy courses they offer a number of courses in the area of animal husbandry such as animal nutrition apart from that they also offer msc in food technology as well as msc in food safety and quality assurance Basically, NDRI is also offering M.Tech as well as Master in Veterinary Sciences degree for all of these courses, and the degree that you will be received depends on your UG degree. So, for example, if one has done a Bachelor in Veterinary Sciences degree, one will receive a Master's in Veterinary Sciences degree. If one has done B.Sc degree, one will receive an M.Sc degree. The admission to this college is based on I.C.R. exam, and when talking about the total number of seat, it may vary from year to year and course to course. So, for example, the number of proposed seats for 2020 for the course of food technology was around 4, whereas that for dairy microbiology was around 8. So, we request you to check the website for the exact number of seats per course for each year. Next, we have BHU, that is Banaras Hindu University, located in Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh. So, this university with a huge campus offers large number of courses, one among them is MSc in Food Science and Technology. The admission is based on the entrance examination conducted by BH, BHU, which is known as BHU PET, that is Banaras Hindu University Post Entrance Test for MSc MTech. There are a total of 25 seats for this course. Coming on next, we have Govind Ballab. Panth University of Agriculture and Technology. This college is located in Uttarakhand and it has a total of four seats in MSc in Food Technology course. The admission to this is based on the entrance examination conducted by the university itself, but it is only for the bona fide students. So that is the students of the Uttarakhand can only apply for this. However, if the seats remain vacant, the seats can be filled through the ICR exam. Coming on next, we have Delhi University. So first college here is Lady Avin College located in Mandi House, Delhi. This college is offering MSc in Food and Nutrition with a total of 27 seats. So the admission can either be based by merit or by the entrance exam conducted by Delhi University. So of these 27 seats are divided, 14 seats will be filled by the entrance exam conducted by DU and rest 13 seats will be filled by merit. So for the merit, only and only those students can apply which are students of Delhi University of BSc Honours of the academic year 2019 to 2020. For all the rest others, they have to apply for the 14 seats targeted through the entrance exam. Second college we have is Institute of Home Economics located in the Hoskhas of Delhi. This college also has a total of 24 seats in MSc in Food and Nutrition. So of these 24 seats, again, 12 plus 12 is the, is the division, out of which 12 seats will be filled by merit. As said already, that the students only of BSc Honours of Academic Year 2019 to 2020 of DU can apply and rest 12 seats will be filled by the entrance examination conducted by Delhi University. Going on next, we have a special entry to discuss. So, if you are an employee working in industry and your, uh, your industry is ready to sponsor you for further education, then this might exactly be the place that you are looking for. 
the Defence Food Research Laboratory along with the Defence Institute of Advanced Technology started MSc in Food Technology in Pune. So this course basically is specially for the Ministry of Defence sponsored and the industry sponsored candidates. So in case you are working, you can pursue this course. The condition is that the uh, candidates applying for them should be working for the sponsoring organization and the organization should agree you to send you to complete this course along with giving you the full salary. For this particular course, self-sponsored candidates cannot apply. It is specifically for the industry sponsored candidates and there are a total of 25 seats. So coming to the last college here, again we have a special entry that is the BITS Misra. So Birla Institute of Techno Technology located in Misra Ranchi is a college that is offering a unique integrated program of BSc and MSc food technology. So in case you are a class 12 student looking in order to looking to pursue this food technology BSc and MSc integrated course, you can target this college. This college offers this BSc and MSc dual program in total of 10 semesters that is only 5 years. The admission for this college is based on your 12th standard marks. So now, other than these colleges that we have discussed, there are a lot more colleges in India offering MSc Food Technology and all of them are equally good and one can even consider any of them for their higher education. So for your convenience, we have tried to make a list of all the colleges along with the name of the program or the degree that they are offering. We hope that you found this video helpful. Please like and share this video as it might help someone who is looking to pursue MSc in Food Technology. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel for many more videos coming from Food Emmy. Team Food Emmy wishes you a good luck for admissions. Thank you.